hello out there welcome to this mathematics lesson we'll be looking at long division of whole numbers in this video we are going to look at three digit numbers divided by a digit number and we'll be taking the divisor from three and four so let's go problem one divide 456 by 3 so we go by long division that's 456 divided by 3 this is the dividend while this is the divisor so our divisor here is 3 while the dividend is 456 so in this box the 456 will go inside while the divisor stays outside here and the method is divide multiply subtract bring down and repeat remember again we divide then multiply subtract bring down and repeat so let's divide um, we are going to be dividing digits by digits 4 divided by 3 we have it as a 1 there's only 1 3 in 4 so we say 1 times 3 gives a 3 then we are going to subtract 4 minus 3 gives 1 here again we bring down we bring down the next digit which is 5 so 15 divided by 3 we look at 3 times 5 is 15 so 15 divided by 3 will give 5 we have to know the relationship between multiplication and division so forward is multiplication so backward is division so 15 divided by 5 will give us 3 and 15 divided by 3 will give us a 5 so in this situation we have 15 divided by 3 which will give us a 5 so we have it as 5 so already we know that 5 times 3 gives a 15 then we subtract so 15 minus 15 gives 0 so we now bring down the 6 6 divided by 3 will give 2 then again we multiply 2 times 3 gives 6 and 6 minus 6 gives a 0 therefore 456 divided by 3 gives 152 this is what we call the quotient the divisor is 3 the dividend is 456 and the quotient is 152 so that is the solution of problem 1 so we go to problem 2 for problem 2 we have 612 divided by 3 again we draw our box this 612 is the dividend it comes inside the box while the divisor which is 3 stays outside the box again we are going to take the first digit and divide 6 divided by 3 gives 2 2 times 3 gives 6 then we subtract 6 minus 6 gives 0 and uh, we bring down the next digit which is 1 1 divided by 3 how many 3's can we get from 1? <laughs> 0 so it is 0 we are going to write we can only get 0 3's in 1 so we now multiply 0 times 
3 gives 0 we then subtract 1 minus 0 gives 1 we now bring down the next digit which is 2 12 divided by 3 again we see that 3 times 4 gives 12 so 12 divided by 3 will give 4 so we have it as a 4 so that 4 times 3 again gives a 12 and subtracting 12 minus 12 gives 0 therefore 612 divided by 3 gives 204 that is the solution of problem 2 we go to problem 3 for problem 3 we have to divide 728 by 4 so we go again this is 728 divided by 4 bringing our box inside this box we are going to have 728 which is the dividend and the outside we have the 4 which is the divisor again we take the digits one after the other so we speak 7 divided by 4 7 divided by 4 goes 1 and then we say 4 times 1 gives 4 then we subtract 7 minus 4 gives 3 we then bring down the next digit which is 2 32 divided by 4 we know 4 times 8 is 32 so 32 divided by 4 will give 8 so we have it as a 8 then we know that 4 times 8 gives a 32 then we subtract 32 minus 32 gives 0 the next digit is 8 we bring down 8 8 divided by 4 that is 2 times 4 gives 8 so 8 divided by 4 is 2 so that 2 times 4 will give us a 8 we then subtract 8 minus 8 is 0 so we go to problem 4 for problem 4 we have to divide 824 by 4 again that is 824 divided by 4 bringing in our box 824 goes inside the box while 4 stays outside the box again we start the division digit by digit 8 divided by 4 that is 4 times 2 gives 8 so 8 divided by 4 gives 2 so 2 times 4 gives uh, 8 we subtract 8 minus 8 gives uh, 0 then we now bring down the next digit the next digit is 2 so 2 divided by 4 how many 4's can we get in 2 we can get any 4 so it is 0 so 0 times 4 gives uh, 0 and 2 minus 0 gives uh, 2 we bring down the 4 as the next digit then we know that uh, 4 times 6 gives 24 therefore 24 divided by 4 will give 6 so we have it as a 6 we know 4 times 6 now gives 24 we subtract 24 minus 24 gives 0 this is the end of the solution to problem 4 and this is also the end of this uh, lesson until we come your way again goodbye